Okay, y'all. It's your boy, this thing is Kick. This is my YouTube channel, All About Soul. And, um, yeah, as you can see right here, let me move this out the way. I completed re restoring. I made a, I had to make a correction. On the last video, previous video, I said 2015. These are the 2013 um, Jordan 3. Um, uh, red, um, and I probably killed the name too, but I, you know what I mean. Got the, the Jordan Threes is coming out in a few, another month or so, or in a few weeks. Um, I wanted to see what the difference was. I couldn't pass this up because the price was good, like I said in the previous video. And so this was the right uh, shoe, and I had already completed this one. And as you can see right here, I had um, put red laces in it. I put a touch-ups on the bottom of the shoe. Uh, that glossy material is this. Uh, Salon Care 40. Um, I'm sure some of the 50 it works, but I can't get the 50 because I don't have a license, so I can't get it. But as you can see, I still got some touch-ups to do right here, but it's the bottom of my feet. That's some touch-ups right there. Um, that was only because the mistakes in the red and the, between the red and the white is because I tried to do it freehand. Um, on the right shoe, I did it a lot better with uh, painter's tape and stuff. I shouldn't lean it like that because I got that stuff on here. But as you can see, I got a few little nicks and crannies here because, uh, or little nuggets because when you pull the tape, it'll leave that residue, that leftover residue that got snagged. So, um, I'm going to leave it alone for right now. It's good. Uh, I did touch up the back as best I could, but I, I'm about to end up repainting this plastic tab. I'll just leave it the way it is because it looks more vintage. So now if anybody thinking that this is the Cardinal, um, okay, well, no. The difference between this one and the Cardinals is, as you can see here on my Cardinals, the Jumpman is a, a gold elephant print here, red tabs here, red tabs there red gloss paint instead of flat and the elephant print shows up a lot better because it is brand new jump man see what i'm saying still got the manufacturer's tag right there 21 you know you know what i'm talking about nice time of leather i don't see the difference in between the two other than the fact that mines are older oh yeah 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 because of the elephant print this doesn't have the elephant print up in here uh, and this is not gold. But as far as the leather material, uh, I think because this is broken in, that's why the leather material is a lot better. And then on top of that, if you look here, this is a little gloss. This is more flat. I need to put flat on this one so it looks a lot more. I don't know. I might leave it alone. I don't know. Anybody won't tell the difference, will they? No. But anyway, um,. Yeah, this is uh, my 2013. I'm gonna show you right here. Back of the tag. If I can zoom in. 2013. Jordan 3. Fire Reds. That's what it is, Fire Red. My fault. So, comment below what you think. Let me know, should I stick with the white laces? Cause I just iron, clink those and iron that out. I can't get the, you know, the marks where it loops into the hoop, the uh, shoe lit. Um, Shoelace um, tabs. I don't know what they call them. I can't think of it right now. But um, I can try scrubbing them. Everything won't come clean. But that's as good as I can get for right now. But comment below. Let me know what you think. And let me know if you think I should stick with the white or the red laces. Actually, I believe these this these uh, this lace belongs to my Cardinals. And I think it does. So I might take this out. Because the white is pretty nice. Um, also, if anybody know anything about these back tabs, what I can do to spruce them up a little bit more because, like I said, I'm using whatever I can to touch it up, but it's still going to look real flat. I'm probably going to have to end up re-taping this all off, you know, prime it and then repaint it all white and then paint the Jumpman red again, but I don't want to have the paint breaking off on me, so... Comment below, let me know if there's anything out there as far as paint-wise I can use to touch that up. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, the bottoms are still hit. I don't think you can do anything with that because they're talking about 2013. That's almost like 10 years, 
15 years of um, old shoes, uh, you know, walking on them. I hope they don't crumble on me. I did leave these in the dryer for a little bit so this paint can dry. And I noticed it has some separation in here. So I'm gonna keep my eye on it uh, to make sure if it does separate, I can fix it. I got the, um, you know, the, the glue in my uh, kit. But other than that, yeah, I think these turn out pretty good for the price I got them for. And I got them for like $87. So, yeah. So, yep. There you have it. And all I used was painter's tape, some line care 40, the other ingredients in my, what I was cooking with. It's like the um, Angela's um, soap, Angela's um, white acrylic, red acrylic and just a little elbow grease and then i got the uh flat uh clear paint to cover the shoes to make them look more you know real leather like that flat not like that so i might, I might just do it i might just go ahead and do it but other than that that's it y'all i'm done with these i just gotta oh wait a minute, one more thing and the insoles they did come out somewhat clean um that's how they look right now. I did as much as best as I could. So I did put them in the, um, the wash machine and washed them in bleach water and soap. So I guess that's about as far as it goes for me. So I'm done here. So got any questions, let me know y'all. This is your boy Distinguished Kicks. I'm out. Um, like I said, comment. Uh, like and subscribe at the bottom and uh, yeah Aim for something you're gonna miss everything y'all stay safe. Stay blessed. Peace out